Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to another video where I'm going to be discussing the ideal distance between the screen and your main seating position, as well as I have an exciting upgrade planned for my home theater. And I'm going to give you a preview of that coming right up. Right guys, as you can see in my home theater, I have two rows of seating. And I planned it this way during the build process of my house and before I really knew anything about home theater, other than the fact that I knew I really wanted one. I sunk the floor down 17 centimeters and added a riser to the rear so that I could place a second row of chairs, not even realizing it needed to be higher as at the moment you cannot see over the first row because it is too low down. As you can see here, the first row and what was initially the main viewing position, it's literally only two meters away from my 120 inch screen. And I've been watching movies in here from that distance for almost a year now. Ironically, it never seemed to bother me too much as I can see the whole screen when fully reclined easily without moving my head. But one day I decided to sit up the back for a change and it completely changed the experience for me for the better. It is a sad fact for me to face that the front row of the seating has to go and I've already made plans to replace my seating with three single seats across the back. So let's break down a few deciding factors in this decision. The first one is that my speakers are placed well below the screen. You can really feel it significantly when you're sitting on the front row because you're so close to the screen. Two, I never have more than just myself in here with the rare occasion of my two boys that join me for some action movies and it's rarely more than three at a time, meaning that I just don't need the five seats in this room. And having the additional seating in a compromised position just detracts from the viewing experience for the person that is going to be using it the most, which is me. The main reason is that the viewing distance from the screen to the back row is increased to a far more optimum distance. There are a number of resources out there on the internet, and I'll leave links down below to them about how far you should sit from the main listening position to the screen, but from my perspective, and I use 4K as a standard, so I'll be going with that one for now, and that is roughly 2.5 to three times the height of the screen in distance. This brings me to roughly where my back riser is, which makes sense why I find it more enjoyable to sit on the back row. A few other things lined up quite well for me as well, and that is that my side surrounds are actually in line with the back row, as well as my height, so this is another reason that tipped me towards going to a single row, as I wouldn't really need to change much in terms of my speaker locations. I decided to make a video on this topic because on my Discord server, links in the description below, I see a lot of questions and discussion around whether or not to go with two rows of seating. And I know it's really tempting to put two rows in a room under five meters, as that will give you the ultimate look of having a home theater. But I think it's just not a sacrifice worth making. Based on the last year of use, it's really a much better experience from the back row. Now, I'm not making any definitive claims on this. I think in this hobby, you have to make your own judgments and listen to all of the advice out there to see what will work for you in your particular situation. If you aren't sure on what screen size and distance to go with, you can always visit a friend's house or a dealer and see what's comfortable for you. The two most impacting factors and questions to ask yourself are, how many people are likely to be in the room most of the time and will sacrificing the more comfortable viewing distance for having a second row of seating be worth it in a room under five meters. So this leads me to share the plans that I have for my theater, which have been in the works for a couple of months now, and I'm really excited to share them with you. As you can see, my speakers are below the screen and it's always bothered me. And I've mentioned this in several of my videos. As well as it being too close, my quest for perfection has led me to the realization that if I want to improve my room, I need to make some changes. So during one of my many visits on the Australian home theater Facebook groups, I met Michael, who turns out to work for Crix, which is an Australian speaker manufacturer who make professional cinema grade speakers as well as speakers for home theater and is a wealth of knowledge on all things home theater, speakers, and the industry in general. Over time, I became friends with Michael, who is behind the design of rooms such as this one. And the 24.10.10 .10 World First Demo.
This was when I got a look at the MX series of speakers, and after my conversations with Michael over voice chat, thought that this could solve some of my soundstage and audio alignment issues. After first contemplating the MX-5, Michael suggested that the MX-10 would be a better option for my room, and we worked together to do a sketch up of the room and work with my existing height speaker placements to create a 7.2.6 setup using all Crick speakers. So to give a rundown of the speaker configuration, the soundstage would be running a Crix MX-10 with LCR speakers being powered for now by my AVR and the subs to be powered by the Yamaha PX3 amp. I would then replace my monitor audio side surrounds with the Crix Symmetrics and also add two additional ear level rear surrounds with the same Crix Symmetrics as well. This leaves replacing my Klipsch in ceiling speakers with the Crix Atmospherics A20s which can be angled to face the seating position where the bass driver and tweeter are both angled. Now before anyone thinks I'm abandoning my love of Klipsch, I'm happy to say that I will be building a 7.2.4 setup out in my living room, repurposing all of these speakers to go with a 100 inch ultra short throw ALR screen from Vividstorm. My wife probably doesn't know about this, but she will soon enough. This is where the tough decision came to remove the front row and go with three single seats across the back, allowing for a much better viewing angle and distance, as well as affording better audio to the main viewing position. I do have a surprise coming with my seating, but I'll leave that for another video. So this is what I think I'll be going with very soon. I plan to make some vlog style videos of the build process, as I'll need to make a shelf across the front soundstage, as well as pack in some acoustic material to minimize reverb and some additional work with cabling to be able to get to the subwoofers. So as you can see guys, building a home theater is all about compromise and trying to find the best possible solution for your specific situation. Well, let me know what you think about my proposed upgrade in the comment section down below and whether or not you've had to make the tough call of going from two rows down to one. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, smash that like button for me and hit the subscribe button followed by that bell notification so that you don't miss any future episodes. If you're interested in joining the conversation, I have a thriving Discord community. I've got links in the description down below where you can connect with like-minded home theater enthusiasts. Righto guys, that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.